Look at our logo! It's there on aprons! Cool. Nice. <laughs> Texturized and stuff. <laughs> Welcome back to Kitchen Brothers channel. We've been long gone, but we're back. Yeah! Um, today we decided to make some Polish food again. Because we're Polish. Obviously. How can you say? What? Look at the flag in the back. That there'll be flags on the front. Going down, flag, boo. Yeah, editorial. <laughs> yes. Um, today we're doing actually two. Two? The same dishes. Same dish, done a bit differently. One is the fast food and one is good food. Good? Good. So one of uh, one of the bigos that we're doing will be just mainly pork meat and sauerkraut and the other one will be all the rest, including pork meat and sauerkraut. Um, yes. So uh, Obviously, we have to slice our pork. That's way too big, so that's gonna be two dishes we're gonna put on half to half. Uh, so that's two kilograms of, of uh, pork. One half will be for one dish, and the other half will be for the other dish. And while he's cut, while Swabek is cutting uh, the meat into Little bricks. I'm gonna peel. It doesn't matter of the shape. That's your choice. How big size you want. While he's cutting the meat, I'm gonna peel out the sausage. It's not very hard. So for the sausage, it needs to be one of the long ones uh, type of sausages, um, smoked. Preferably, but if you have any any smoked off cuts pork, then that's good as well. Um, not everyone peels them, and it's not necessary. But uh, good important information: buy Polish sausage. Okay, don't buy any other any other sausages. Maybe Germans, but it needs to be smoked. Uh, preferably Silesian or anything a bit darker, not too light. Uh, on the skin, on the skin, and then while the peels, the, they're still edible, so you can eat them. And or if you don't like uh, hard skin, it's not hard, but if you don't like hard skin, you can give it to your dog or cat. They'll uh, thank you. Definitely will. The fast the bigos. Yes. Now the first bigos we're gonna do is gonna be the long one because obviously it's the long. It takes longer, and while uh, it's cooking, we're gonna start about halfway, we're gonna start the other one because it's, it's basically faster. Fast. And uh, the, diff the main differences are uh, a little bit in taste and then historically um, the easy bigos is the easy and the, the long one is like a posh version of it. And usually it's used on Christmas or uh, Easter. Time. The fast bigos is created when was the pig. Uh, taken apart? No. When the pig was taken apart. The, the fast bigos is when you putting the pig on the part because of Christmas coming and they just wanted to make some fast food because they was too busy with that peel all of the pig. From the pieces so they're just making just fast slice the meat cabbage that's it eat with the bread from that way that way uh, that's fast because okay. um, the, the thing about the thing about two different bigosses is um, one tastes good freshly made and one tastes good like the next day or two days after when it's cool and then reheated because um, the long bigos uh, takes a little bit of time for the ingredients to bite through each other so they taste they taste better next day or again or day after the next and the um, 
the quick beagles taste best out of pan or just straight into a bowl and just eat that like that. That's why it's cool, cool, cool. That way is the best uh, way the, when you put your long bigos to jar, you can prepare them a few days before Christmas and don't need to waste the time the day Christmas day to prepare them. You just reheated them. You can focus on other Christmas dishes. Ones that need to be done just before. So ingredients for the, the bigos are pork shoulder meat, smoked sausage, tomato paste, sauerkraut, which is fermented cabbage, and white cabbage, which is green, but fresh, fresh cabbage. And for spices, we're gonna use allspice, bay leaves, salt and black, black ground pepper black ground pepper uh, so you're gonna start cut the sausage and i'm gonna cook meat and oh. then take care of the cabbage so cutting the sausage is just simple as cutting it in half and then in three Size like this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're 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 gonna cut the cabbage first. We're gonna take off the, the top leaves because they're not they're yeah. not the best um, and in the same time I'm gonna squeeze our juice from sour cabbage. So basically I'm cutting off any dark parts because they're not looking good. Squeeze as much as you can, as, as you can. We need all of this juice. Don't waste that juice. So middle of the of the cabbage needs to go. So that's basically not good for our purpose. And again. The best way to cut the cabbage is cut it in half in quarters and just slowly cut through. It can give us little shreds like this. Unless you have a shredder, you can use a shredder or a mandolin. Either one will be good. If you want to make sauerkraut, let us know in the comments and we're gonna make another video step by step how to make perfect of them because why not uh, cabbage uh, now we have to boil in the water because we need sour but in cabbage right now left the bitter bitter so bitter taste is no good for our for long or normal christmas type of um, bigos and then if, if it if it stays uh, for a bit longer, uh, the bitter will come up in, in the big ocean will be nice. So while we just put our sauerkraut to boil out, we add our bay leaves and our spice to the meat, which is not cooked yet. 
So right after we put our sauerkraut to boil and put our spices, we can put our shredded cabbage to boil as well. To also bring out to also bring out the uh, bitter taste of. while boiling needs to be mixed from time to time. So we're about 40 minutes in after we started uh, cooking everything. And because the other bigos takes less time, at this point we can start making the other one. So while we're waiting uh, still for that, we add just our meat. Then we add a little bit of water. And then mix. And cover. I can sit for about 20 minutes. So we add um, half a teaspoon of salt of pe black ground pepper. For our meat now, and about half a teaspoon of salt as well. Don't put too much salt because our cabbage is salty. Our cabbage is made of salt and cabbage. So now we're gonna drain our cabbage about 40 minutes after cooking. Water. And we can put straight away to our. We can go straight into our meat. Yeah. We need to taste our that one cabbage. Is it soft? If it's not, have to boil a little bit longer. It's quite soft. So. So when our cabbage is soft, we go in exactly the same. I'm gonna sieve it out from of water as well. And add it there to our mixture. In this point, you can remove your leaves and spices, and because it's not nice to catch when you're eating later. So biting into it is not really good, but we'll leave it for now. I'm telling to remove now because when we're gonna add our uh, tomato sauce, it's gonna be messy to take it out. We need to add it now. Our juice from sour cabbage. And now we're gonna add the sausage. And tomato paste. So that's about 200 grams of tomato paste. You can mix everything. In this way, leave for another half hour. Mix time to time. About five to ten minutes after we start uh, boiling our quick uh, bigos meat, we add half a teaspoon of black ground pepper and half a teaspoon of uh, salt. So after about 25 minutes uh, boiling our meat on very low heat, we can add uh, our sauerkraut. But sauerkraut it can be fresh, it doesn't need to be <coughs> boiled. But still, uh, still it's been squished out of, uh, of the juice, but 
we will add that as well. So now we're just sprinkling our sauerkraut over. So for this, for about a kilogram of uh, meat, uh, we add about 300 grams of sauerkraut and then a little bit of our sour juice. And for that we add a, a little bit more uh, black pepper and cover it up for uh, about another 10-15 minutes. You don't have to but we timed, it, uh, we timed everything right and both our videos are ready. They're visibly different, but this one is if you need, if you have little time to make it, and this one is um, if you have long time or need to prepare it before. So we can turn the heat off, and then now we can load them into bowls. It's time to load. First one. If you have a little more juices than there is now, as I, I hope, it's not bad. But because because you can you can dip your bread in if you use bread. Now, as before, it tastes better after you cool it, after it cools down and you reheat it. But if it's fresh, it's still good. Hello there. Okay, uh, because it's usually eaten. Either the, the, the long one or short one with sour rye bread or Polish bread usually uh, is sour rye. Um, you can eat it with a bread roll, but anything that, that is sour just, just merges in extremely good flavor. Okay. Sometimes they, they uh, making bigos adding with the potatoes, boiling potato, mashed potatoes. Okay. Yeah, so the, the, the long, long one, yes. Uh, if you have mashed potatoes, you can have like a like a mashed potatoes and then bigos on on the plate instead like of bread. Meal. Instead of bread, like a full meal. But I I prefer it Sour. even without bread. Right, okay, it's time to test the taste, or taste test. Obviously we know it tastes good because we, we cook it often. Sour, but it has a specific taste. And then this one. Nice. It has different taste because tomato paste and sausage and all the smoke flavors are mixing together. But uh, we hope for a comment and like and subscribe that would help us uh, tremendously. And um, thanks for watching. Uh, See you in another video. Bye.